Speaking to Newsman State Police Commissioner Harley Grandu said, though he has not been properly briefed on the incident, said the deployed anti-robbery crack team are already combing the bush and the areas where the incident took place. The Commissioner of Police said the police will not rest on its oars till the perpetrators are brought to justice. My men responded immediately. As it is now, I have a team of SARS, team of anti-kidnapping, and uh, the DPO of EHO, in collaboration with the vigilante and the hunters, combing the bush. The intelligence had it that uh, the hoodlums randomly shot, and uh, unfortunately, bullet, a, a stray bullet hit the late victim. While reacting to the upsurge in crime in the state, State Police Commissioner Ali Grandu called on members of the public with useful information that will help the police to check crime in the state to forward search to his office. We employ people of goodwill to come with any reasonable information that we can evaluate to become actionable intelligence so that all those perpetrators will be brought to book. Meanwhile, mourners, family members, friends of the slain former chairman of Esako East local government, Prince Suleiman Afegwa, have expressed shock at the assassination of Prince Suleiman Afegwa while traveling to Benin City by unknown gunmen and the kidnap of two of his uncles that accompanied him on the journey. They called on a Doe State government and a Doe State Police Command to fish out those behind the act. In our own part, as lawmakers, we had cases where we were um, giving resolutions to the executive and to all the security agencies to do everything possible to secure the lives of the people of a state and indeed Nigerians. The perpetrator who do all these evils that make this thing, giving a suddenly death to a young man like this, we pray God should not forgive them. The remains of late Prince Suleiman Afegwa has since been laid to rest according to Islamic rites. I Boji Ihoria reporting.